Some of two consequences are numbers is 56. A very, very, a very, very important point here. The sum of two consequent to odd numbers. First, you should know what are those consequent to odd numbers. See here, 1, 3, we know 1, 3, 5, 7, next 9, next 2. Next how much? 11. 13 and so on. These are all odd numbers. Consequent to odd numbers are here. You can call it 3 comma 5 are consequent to odd numbers. Or? Or? So what is the difference between these two numbers? By adding 2 we are getting this one. Is it it? By adding 2 we get the 7. By adding 2, we get 9. That means the difference between two consequent to odd numbers is uh, 2, right? Suppose this is 3, can I write this is 3 plus 2? Suppose this is 7, can we write this is 7 plus 2? This is 11, we can write this is 11 plus 2. But we don't know our consequent to numbers are here. We always we take it as x. So suppose 1 is x, the second one is must be x plus 2. Isn't it or not? This is x, this is x plus 2. This is x, this is x plus 2. Why we take in x plus 2 and x? We don't know those numbers. Or consequent to numbers. So therefore, let two consequent to numbers are x comma x plus 2. But their sum is given how much? 56. Can I write it down here? Yes. So x plus x plus 2 is equal to how much? 56. But the reason he has given a statement, as per the program, sum of two consequent to odd numbers is 56. x plus x, 2x two x plus 2 is equal to 56. This is plus 2. By transposing this, we get uh, minus. Yes. 56 minus 2. This is plus 2. We'll go this side minus. minus two. Then we have 2x. Two two x. Two x. Therefore, 2x is equals to 50. Then x is equals to 54 by 54 by 2. That is equal to how much? 2 to the 27. 27 is the odd number or not? By adding 2, we get. By adding 2 to the 27, we get 29. 27 and 29. Are our uh, two consequent to odd numbers? Here I write down on Therefore, consequent to odd numbers are 27. 27 plus 2. 27, 29. These two my consequent to odd number. By adding 27 and 29, how much? 6 to 1. Yes, I done. Square? 